Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about time temperature transformation curves or you can say TTT diagram for UTEC toid steel or you can say 4.8 percentage of carbon is being present into the steels. So first of all, the time temperature transformation shows the relationship between the temperature and the time for the transformation of the austenite. When the transformation occurs at a constant temperature, so that will be known as a isothermal process. So according to the basic heat treatment process, there will be first stage and it will be considering as a heating. So heating up to the austenitic temperature range or you can say above 723 degree centigrade. So the temperature of the transformation controls the nature of the decomposed products or you can say of austenite which decide the resultant properties of the steels. Hence the transformation temperature effect onto the decomposed products is of the much importance which can be done with the help of TTT diagram. So that will be all regarding benefits from the TTT diagram. So you will study for the eutectoid steel with the different temperature with respect to time. It will be having a which kind of transformations is being found. So let's start to make a TTT diagram for eutectoid steel. So just you can see according to the name time temperature. So onto the x axis there will be the representation of time. So it will be considering as a logarithmic time or you can say log scale and onto the y axis that will be the representation of the temperature in degree centigrade. So according to the heat treatment process onto the steels so you have to converting your steel into the stable austenite phase and we already discussing that at about 723 degree centigrade that will be the formation of stable austenite. Just you can see this is the 723 degree centigrade you will make a one horizontal line. So above this temperature line or you can say you take toid temperature line. So it will be the formation of stable Austenite. So by the study on to the number of samples for the eutectoid steel or you can say 0.8% carbon is being present into the steels. So by the different cooling mediums it will be converging into the different form of the structures. So it will be having a one transformation line and that will be indicating as a transformation start points and transformation end points and you will join this transformation start point and end points so you will get a region like so just you can see with the different cooling from the austenite from these sides with respect to the time so these points it will be acting as a transformation starting point and you will make a one line that will be starting from the transformation start so that will be known as a starting of the transformation and this second line it will be having a different points that will be indicating that it will be the end point of the transformations so that will be complete transformation process or you can say end of the transformation so heated your material up to the stable austenite phase and that will be the two transformation line. So just you can see the area from right end of the transformation line. So these all areas. So that will be nothing but it will be the. So this is a instable austenite. So just you can see this is a starting of the transformation line and this curves that will be nose as a nose of this particular curve. So at this point it will be once again with respect to time it will be changing the patterns. 
so just you can see here that will be the formation in between the transformation started line and end of the transformations so it will be the formation of austenite ferrite plus cementite so a is indication as a austenite F that will be the ferrite and C it will be for cementite and these lines it will be representation as a Martin side starting points so from this temperature line or you can say below of this that will be the Martin side formations now for the heating up to the stable austenite phase and if you are following such kind of cooling so basically this is the three different regions so above these temperature lines it will be the formation of perlite and this is the region of martensite so in between there will be the venetic structure this is the basic TTT diagram if you want to learn in details so up to this temperature line it will be the coarse perlite and into the upper levels that will be the fine perlite if you want to learn in detail so here that will be the upper benite and this is the regions for the lower benetic structure and below this line it will be the formation of martin side so these diagrams it will be only deals with the 0.8 percentage of carbon if you are increasing the carbon percentage so that will be the so that will be the important part of this diagram so this transformation line it will be shipped towards the right side so there will be the more space is available for the maintaining of the different cooling rates so if you want to learn in details of the different cooling curves onto the TTT diagram so you will find a link in my description box but if you are reducing the weight percentage of the carbon so just you can concentrate for 0.02 percentage carbon is being present so what happens so this transformation line it will be shipped towards the left side so it will be look like this so this is a starting point and this one is your end point of the transformation line so for the less amount of carbon percentage which is difficult to quenching process because there is a no space is available to converting this stable austenite to direct martensite so there will be the some percentage of carbon is being present then and then you should make a conversion from austenite to martensite so if you want to converting 4.8 percentage of the carbon into the austenite to martensite so just you follow the cooling or you can say rapid cooling because this transformation line it will be from this side so there will be the space is available like this I hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share Modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching